Writers, it's Sasha, and today I am going to be giving you guys one of my favorite videos to watch on booktube, and that is my book unhaul. I've been watching these so much during this quarantine, so I finally decided to clean out my bookshelf and just decided to give you guys an unhaul. So I do have over 60 books I'm getting rid of, and when I look at my bookshelf, I'm like, where did all of these go? Because my bookshelf is still like fairly full, but I'm really excited. I divided it into three categories. So the first are books that I have no interest in reading. They've just kind of been taking space on my shelf and I just don't plan on ever getting to them. The second category are books or a series that I just never bothered finishing because I wasn't interested. And third are books that I have read. So I'm just going to start with the books that I have no interest in because I don't really have a reason. But for the other books, I can kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea as to why I don't need them on my shelf anymore. So, let's go. The first books that I'm getting rid of are part of a series. There are four books that I have. I believe there are five books in the series, and it is, I'm bad at this, the Shadowfall series by C.C. Hunter. So that has Born at Midnight, Awake at Dawn, and then a bind up of two of the books. So, Taken Up Dusk and Whispers at Moonrise. So I have no real interest in reading these. I feel like when I got them at the thrift store, I had more of an interest in this type of story. It's a paranormal type, like, vampire, werewolfy type story, I think. I could be wrong, but I just have no real interest in reading these ever, so I'm just not going to bother keeping them. The next series that I'm getting rid of is a popular one I've seen on a lot of people's unhauls, so I think I'm making the right decision. And that is the Hush Hush Quartet by Becca Fitzpatrick. So Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale. And I feel like me who loved like 2012 romance and, and paranormal type stories back in like high school would have really eaten these up. But I've definitely grown and my reading taste has grown and I've just heard not impressive things about this series in order for me to keep it. So I'm just going to give it to somebody who wants it more than I do. Next I have a book and it is Strange Girl by Christopher Pike. Christopher Pike has been writing young adult fiction for a very long time and I really like his concepts are very interesting, but I just don't really have any interest in this particular book at this time. Next, I have a book that I could not get the sticker off the front, so it's staying like that. But it's The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin. So this is a continuation series from The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and I thought it was part of The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer series. So I bought it on Book Outlet, but it's actually not, so... I've heard not great things about this, like if you're going to read the trilogy, the original trilogy, just stick with that. So I'm just going to give this to somebody who maybe really wants it. Oh, and as a disclaimer, I am giving my books to, at least some of them, to a local junior high school, as well as um, the rest of them are going to be given to a local shelter for women and children. So that's what I plan on doing with all of these. I'm not just going to like throw them. But yeah, the next book I'm getting rid of is The Kill Order by James Dashner. I really have no interest in jumping back into the Maze Runner world, especially with all new characters, because if it's not about Newt or Galley or Minho, I'm not interested. So I don't really have any interest in this particular book anymore. I've just kind of grown out of my interest, so. Next two books I'm getting rid of are a duology, and that is the If I Stay duology by Gail Foreman, so If I Stay and Where She Went. I don't have any interest in reading these books. I feel like I've just kind of grown out of my interest, so I'm going to get rid of them. The next book that I'm getting rid of is The Naming by Alison Crogan. So this is a very old like YA fantasy type story and overall like I just don't really have any interest in it. I thought it was something different when I picked it up so it's just kind of been holding on to it hoping I would get to it but I don't ever think I will so I'm gonna get rid of it. The next two books I'm getting rid of are another duology and that is the Teardrop duology by Lauren Kate. So that includes Teardrop and Waterfall. So I don't particularly like Lauren Kate's writing and I didn't know that when I picked this up. I read a couple of excerpts from Fallen on the internet and I just wasn't connecting to the writing at all. So I don't feel any interest in keeping these other works by her just because I have so many other writers and authors that I connect with much more. Next, I have another Christopher Pike book, and that is Chain Letter, another book I really just don't have any interest in reading. The next book that I'm getting rid of is Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. So this is a story that I at one point really loved, or really wanted to love, but I overall don't think I'm ever going to get to this story, so I'm just going to pass it on to somebody who might love it. The next book I'm getting rid of is 
Labyrinth by Kate Moss. I personally don't have any interest in reading this. It's a pretty big book and I do love larger books but when they're historical fiction and they're not set in any sort of like super compelling time point then I personally don't have any interest because <laughs> it's set in like 1209 and 2005 so I have absolutely zero interest in that time period so I'm just gonna pass it on. The next book series that I'm getting rid of is the Demon's Lexicon trilogy. So this is the Demon's Lexicon the Demon's Covenant, and The Demon's Surrender. I have no interest in picking this series up. It's not the like typical YA that I thought it was, but I just overall, like I have so many other books that I really want to get to, and this definitely just is not at the top of that list, so I'm just gonna pass it on. The next book that I have to get rid of is Waterfell by Amelie Howard. This is part of a duology, and it's actually apparently a really good story, but I keep looking at this, this creepy eye whenever I'm looking at my bookshelf. I don't want that anymore. So I'm going to just get rid of it. Also, it's a mermaid and mermaid stories are really either hit or miss for me. So I'm just gonna pass it on. The next series I'm getting rid of, I don't have all of the books in the series, but I just have really no interest in reading. And that is the, I don't even know what the series is called, the I Am Number Four series. So I Am Number Four, The Power of Six, and The Fall of Nine, I think. The Rise of Nine, rather. I am not a fan of alien books. I bought these at a thrift store. Again, that's where most of these have come from. And I just don't have an interest in aliens. I've never liked alien stories that much. I've never really found one I connected with. So I'm just going to pass this on to people who fit this genre a little better. Next, I am getting rid of Asylum by Madeline Rue. I bought this initially because it has pictures of like asylum-y things in it. Kind of like the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. But I've already looked at the pictures and realized that I now have like no interest in the actual story. So I'm gonna pass it on. Next two books I'm getting rid of are another duology and that is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, Tattoo and Fate. I have no clue what the duology is called. I have no interest in reading these. The next book that I'm getting rid of is The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bador. This is a book I bought again at a thrift store and it's an Alice in Wonderland retelling and I love those a lot, clearly. I just don't personally have any interest in reading this particular story. The final series that I'm getting rid of that I have not read is a, I don't even have all of the books in this series, but it is by somebody who apparently is extremely problematic and I just don't have time for that in my life. So I don't know the name of the series, but I'm getting rid of The Last Thing I Remember, The Long Way Home, and The Truth of the Matter by Andrew Clavin. So when I picked these up on Book Outlet, they sounded really interesting to me, and I typically don't tend to like pay attention to who is an author. I just kind of like the concept, so I'll buy it. This author is extremely sexist and extremely misogynistic and kind of racist, I think, probably, just given who he hangs out with, and homophobic as well. And considering the amount of wonderful authors I have on my bookshelf, I don't need to like poison it with him. <laughs> so I'm just going to pass him on. I might I might just donate these three to the local library because the last thing like a women's shelter needs is a book written by a jerk. So I might just pass that along. So next I have books and series I have started and have not finished. This is a very small category. It's only one pile. So I'll just get right into that. The first book I have is Rivers by Michael Ferris Smith. I didn't connect with it at all when I started reading it and I just thought like this isn't gonna work for me. Like somebody else would really love this story who's more into like adult fiction and I'm just not that person so I'm just gonna pass it on. The next book I'm getting rid of is a bit of a doozy and that is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I have no interest in keeping this book because I started it last month. I could not connect with this story. The only reason I knew what was going on is because I had watched the movie, so it wasn't introduced very well. And again, it's another alien story, and aliens and I have not been together. Next is another alien series. Whoa. <laughs> it is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armantrout. So Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, Origin, and Opposition. And I made it through one and a half of these before I gave up but I read Obsidian and Onyx. So with Obsidian, I ended up giving it 3.5 out of five stars. I ended up liking it enough, like it was okay. It was very mediocre, but then there were some underlying themes of just like sexual harassment that I wasn't a particular fan of. And the entire novel was just hot and cold, hot and cold between the main male character and main female character. And that's like a cool trope and I will devour it. But if it's the entire 
book, then I have no interest in continuing it just because I think it's such an overused topic as is. And then with the second book, I had a lot of the similar issues. I didn't even make it through like three chapters and I was like, I can't, I can't do this to myself. I can't put myself through this anymore. So I just decided to give up. Someone else will really love this series. I know that because everyone really loves the series. I'm like one of the few people who really doesn't like it. So I know someone else is going to get a kick out of this series. The next book that I didn't finish that I'm getting rid of is This Is How It Always Is by Laurie Frankel. I personally liked the story. Like I didn't end up finishing it, but what I read I liked. Laurie Frankel's writing, given such a heavy topic matter, it was very fun and light and interesting to read. I just personally didn't get anything from the story because it's not something that I can really relate to. The final book that I'm getting rid of that I didn't finish is a book that I lost the dust jacket for and that is Half Bad by Sally Green. So this book I literally my tiny brain could not figure out what was going on. I was the concept of it when I read the back of it sounded really cool. But the rest of it, like actually reading it, I was like, I don't know what's going on. So I didn't finish it because I don't want to read a book that I don't know what's going on. So now we're going to move on to books and series that I have read in completion and just don't really feel like keeping anymore. So the first one is a trilogy, like an original trilogy, and then I also have the continuation trilogy. But I have the original Darkest Powers trilogy by Kelly Armstrong, so that includes The Summoning, The Reckoning, and The Awakening. These books I really did not like at all. I ended up completing the series because overall like I was in high school and I didn't know that I could not finish the series but it has every single trope that I personally really don't like. It was a very trope based novel and I think if you're relying too heavily on YA stereotypes to write a good novel it's not going to end up being good unfortunately. So I didn't love that so I'm just gonna give these away because I feel like 14 year old girls or guys would really love this so I don't feel like continuing on to keep this series. The, the follow-up trilogy, I don't know what it's called, but it has The Rising, The Calling, and The Gathering. I think that's the order. These are much, much, much better than their predecessors. I did not like those. However, I really did enjoy these books. It's set in the same world, but like different characters, and I thought these characters were just overall better. I ended up really liking these, but I don't feel like keeping a series where I don't have the series that goes before it that kind of explains everything so. so the next book series is very similar as well this is a okay so i've got the iron fey series by julie kagawa so the first three primary works are iron knight iron daughter and iron queen i ended up loving this trilogy it was so good it was such a good introduction for me into the fey world because this is the first real glimpse i've ever had at seely versus unseely and i just overall really enjoyed my time reading it and then there was a fourth book <laughs> about our main male character ash from the first trilogy and i liked this book even more i thought it was really well done and i just i love ash so i wanted to read more about him and then <laughs> there is a follow-up trilogy. So there is the like Iron Fae, The Call of the Forgotten. So The Lost Prince, The Iron Warrior, and The Iron Traitor. Those are all three follow-up series. Really loved these as well. So why am I getting rid of them, you ask? Well, these are seven books that I have no interest in rereading that are just kind of taking up space on my shelf. And I almost feel like it's rude of me to hog seven really, really good books just to have them. They've served their time in my life. So the next book that I read is The Darkest Star by Jennifer Armitrout. This is a continuation to the Lux series, which I did not like, and I ended up liking this. Like, this was a good introduction into a new trilogy, but again, it's the same situation where I'm not going to keep this just so that I can have it, because I don't have the predecessor, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Someone else will really love this. The next book that I'm getting rid of is What I Saw in How I Lied by Judy Blundell. I actually ended up really loving this story when I read it. It was something that I thought was going to be turned into a very cheesy romance, but ended up turning into this lovely, lovely book about self-discovery, but set in like World War, like post-World War II times. I loved it. Like it was a really good story, but I don't ever anticipate reading it again or wanting to read it again. So I'm just gonna pass it on because someone else will really end up loving it. Next book I'm getting rid of is The Betrayal of Maggie Blair by Elizabeth Laird. This will come as absolutely no shock to anyone who watched my April and March wrap up. I read this for a prompt for the Stay Home Reading Rush and I ended up not liking it. 
It was historical fiction, 1600 Scotland, witch trials, thought it would be really interesting. It ended up being just like this really religious heavy story that just did not make any amount of sense. And it definitely didn't follow what the synopsis was on the back of the book, so I have no interest or desire to continue with it, so I'm just gonna not. <laughs> Next book that I am getting rid of is Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. This girl died, she got hit by a car at the age of 15. She goes to this place called Elsewhere, and in Elsewhere, you basically you age backwards until you hit zero. And then when you hit zero, you're like reborn back into this earth. So it's kind of like a very reincarnation type story. I ended up really liking the story, but it's another one that I just have no interest in ever reading again so somebody else could really love the story. Next I am getting rid of Winter Girls by Lori Halls Anderson. No interest in reading this again. I personally couldn't connect to the story just because I don't, I haven't suffered from an eating disorder. Other types of mental health that were in this, yes I have, but there are so many other books by Lori Halls Anderson that I want to collect that more fit my personal sufferings so I'm just gonna give this to somebody who definitely could use this. Next is another one I lost the dust jacket for and that's Guardian of the Dead by Karen Healy. I liked this book enough. It was about Maori mythology, something I really don't know anything about. Maybe if I knew more about it I would have enjoyed it a little bit more. It just, I don't remember literally anything. I don't remember any character names. I don't remember anything except that the ending made no sense to me. So I'm gonna pass it on. The next three books I'm getting rid of are books by a icon but like probably not in the best way. So I'm going to be getting rid of Looking for Alaska, Paper Towns, and Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green. When it comes to, we'll start with Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I read this, this was my first introduction to LGBTQIA plus rep in novels for YA. Overall I thought it did an okay job. I personally can't attest to the parts about being a gay male because I am not. However, I thought overall like it hit the nail on the head pretty well. I just don't have any interest in it and I think somebody else going through a similar situation could have more of an interest. Paper Towns is a very like mediocre story that really like doesn't have any impact on me whatsoever. I thought overall it was very like cheesy and I don't remember really anything about it and I have no interest in continuing. Out of those three, I would say my favorite is Looking for Alaska. I ended up liking the story a lot but there, after like thinking about it as a much older person, I feel like angsty 14 year old me really got a lot out of this story whereas me as a 21 year old, I really don't think I could. So I'm going to pass this along to another 14 year old angsty person and it'll just be much better for them. Next I'm getting rid of Silent Alarm by Jennifer Banash, a book about a school shooting which is a very hard topic to do but it also did the stereotypical school shooting story where the brother was the shooter and now they're focusing on the sister's grief. I read it before, didn't love it. I feel like it just followed that same like trope train <laughs> that everybody else is doing when it comes to school shooting because it's the safest option. I personally didn't love it, so I'm gonna pass it on. Next, another book I lost the dust jacket for, um, Sandcastle Empire by, what is it, Kayla Olson. So with this book, I really loved the first half of it. I thought it was a very interesting sci-fi dystopian. And then the next half was a lot of like what the actual f is going on in here because it was so weird. <laughs> like I just overall personally did not enjoy it that much and I didn't enjoy my time reading it as much as I would have liked to in that last half. So I'm going to pass it along to somebody who really wants to love it and who wants to give it a chance. Because my mom ended up reading this very recently and she loved it, like read it in a day, could not put it down. So it is definitely for some people, just wasn't for me. The final trilogy I'm getting rid of, it's been a video guys, is the Fifth Wave Trilogy by Rick Yancey. So the Fifth Wave, The Infinite Sea, and The Last Star. When it comes to the Fifth Wave, I've now read this three times. I loved it a lot. It was the first alien story I had ever read and it really resonated with me. I also think it was like the first alien sci-fi I had ever read, which was interesting, like sci-fi dystopia, loved it. Uh, the Infinite Sea was kind of a disaster. I didn't love it as much. I waited a long time for it to come out, and when it did, I was severely disappointed. And then the last star, I just don't even want to talk about her. Like, she did not do justice to any of the characters or any of the situations, and I don't want to think about it anymore. And when I'm thinking about, like, books I want to keep, for later on in my life to look back on in fondness. This is not one of those trilogies that can really do that for me. So I'm gonna pass along to people who probably want to read this after watching the movie or something like that. So everyone, that is my ginormous, <laughs> really unnecessary book unhaul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit long. Hopefully it's not gonna be long after editing. <laughs> 
I genuinely love watching these kinds of videos just because they're so entertaining for me to see why people don't want to keep books, for me to get slightly offended as to people who don't keep my particular favorites, but I just overall, I think it's so therapeutic getting rid of books to make room on your shelves for anything else you want to put on there and other things that are probably going to bring you better memories. So thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for being a part of this crazy journey of my unhaul. And until next time, bye readers!